Today, I'm going to be introducing to you all a new perspective of life. Um, this TED Talk won't be talking about um, fancy pieces of technology or anything like that. I'm going to be talking about how to better yourself. Um, as you may know, we live in a capitalist society, and all we do is care about ourselves. So I'm going to be here t helping you guys to better yourselves, because I care about you guys. <laughs> and I need to start out with a question to help start to better you guys' self. Um, what you need to think throughout my TED Talk will be, um, how are you able to get the good out of bad situations? Or how do you make good out of something bad? Um, I was able to do this, and I'd like to share my experience with you all. Um, this is going to be a little sad story, so try not to feel bad. As a kid, I grew up with a single mother, and she loved me, and I loved her too. And I lived a good life. Um, she took care of me, and I had no father figure, so I pretty much grew up with her. And she gave me everything I ever wanted, and she all she wanted me to do was to have fun, and she loved me like that. So in that case, I guess you kind of consider me a spoiled brat. But uh, uh, as a kid, um, I just wanted to have fun. That's mostly what kids wanted. So, uh, but it wasn't until I was 12 to where she passed away from a stroke. She lasted about six months in a hospital before passing, and, um, but the six months were probably like the hardest times of my life, so I want you to keep that in mind, and when I came here, I moved out here with my uncle, my mom's brother, and I came out here and completely like in this alien environment, I felt lost and I didn't know really who I was at the time. But I found a solution. Um, I went on with life and persevered myself. So how did I do that when I felt like I had nothing? What I did was I used my own hardship to motivate myself. I, uh, I wanted to make my mom proud in this case. And I wanted to finally give her a real reason for her to be proud of me. So I later became serious in my schooling. And I found a sport that I became my uh, sole passion. Um, I wanted to box. Boxing was provided as my personal medicine. And as crazy as my seem, boxing and fighting in the ring actually healed me. About when I was about 14, I won my first tournament and became a California state champion. And um, by boxing, I gained my self-confidence and had the best feeling of my life, which was that my mom was finally proud of me and boxing helped me also uh, help me keep discipline schedule so I actually ended up um, let's see like getting straight A's for the first time in my life so that was really inspiring and I continue uh, to try my best to excel today and um, in my I've set my goals to get into a four-year university and possibly go to the Olympics I recently uh, contacted my dad's side of the family, only to find that he passed away just two months after my mom as well. Um, this was hard for me, but at the same time also inspiring again. Um, I found out that he played for the Dodgers for a short time before hurting his knee, but it was inspiring to find out that I had new family that was ready to see me succeed, and I wanted to succeed for them. Now I want to for you guys to think back on your hardest times in life and embrace it. Because what you need to do is find motivation from that hardship in your life and make something of yourself from that. I'm not trying to get you guys to find the bad, no, the good out of the bad, because there's nothing really good about losing someone you love, but rather to use that as your motivation to help you to achieve a greater status in life so it will make uh, you and people around you proud of yourself. This, there's no reason why you can't start today, so go out there and do your best. Thank you.